Continentex 211 Educating the youths through films As I mentioned in my Christmas message 2020 has been a very difficult year We were affected by COVID-19 pandemic We continue to take human lives and exact economic toll both in our country and across the globe. Our situation has also been worsened by the floods, uh, which have destroyed livelihood of thousands of people in our country. My heart goes out to those who have lost their loved ones to COVID-19 as well as those who are living in hardships as a result of the flood. While overcome by sadness, we should all be encouraged by how you ordinary, you ordinary people have maintained social harmony during this crisis. Fellow citizens, we did not travel the, the rough road of the year 2020 alone. We received support from our regional and international partners. And I would like on your behalf to sincerely thank them for standing with us at our difficult moment. The, the transitional government of national unity recognizes the value of partnership with international organizations and donors. And this is why we have unconditionally offered our cooperation for all these years on the basis of this, this belief I am appealing to all our partners to open a new page of mutual recognition in the year 2021. For the last seven years of conflict, we have had state, statements from our international partners that have willfully ignored South Sudanese leaders while pledging to work with our people. We as the leadership have only been asked to fulfill our obligations in approving humanitarian access but these obligations demanded from us seem to have no corresponding rights the south sudanese leadership in this conception has obligations to approve things but has no rights to be to be treated as a genuine partner today i would like to underscore that there are some aspects of our responsibility that require genuine cooperation especially now the transitional government of national unity is in place to our partners, there is more to be achieved in our coll collaborative work by mutual recognition than in a language that undermines. Fellow citizens, I'm aware that the implementation of the revitalized peace agreement 
is moving slowly. This slow progress is not due to lack of political will from, from the parties. It comes from the fact that the agreement itself did not cut off for everything. This requires the parties to work to work out these areas through di through dialogue. While it has taken long, I am pleased to announce that the parties have reached a substantive agreement on responsibility sharing, except for the position of the governor of Upper Nile State. This agreement has paved the way for the parties to submit the, the proposed names of candidates for legislatures and state government officials. Although the announcement of state government of state government officials and the constitution of the transitional legislative uh, assembly will will come in phases. I can assure you that it has already started. We announced deputy governors yesterday and more announcements are imminent. For this milestone, I would like to congratulate the parties and urge them to use this momentum to quicken the pace of implementation of the remaining chapters of the agreement. This is because the revitalized peace agreement is the framework for returning our country to permanent stability and we have no choice other than to implement it faithfully. While work continues on the implementation of the revitalized peace agreement, we are also engaging whole-out groups through the Rome process to make the quest for peace in our country inclusive. These talks are now progressing under the guidance of San Gidio community. And I would like to appeal to my brothers and sisters in the South Sudan Opposition Alliance to see this as an opportunity to silence the guns in our country. The Transitional Government of National Unity is committed to Santigidio mediation and we are hopeful that tangible progress will be achieved in the next round. Fellow citizens, let us all work to silence the guns in 2021. This will allow us to focus on directing our resources to national development priorities such as service provision to our people. May this year be the year of peace and hope for our for us here in South Sudan and for humanity. Stay united and I wish you a happy and prosperous new year and may God bless our country, South Sudan. Thank you very much.